l'Assemblée générale. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, President and Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, and invite him to address the Assembly. Mr. President of this 77th session of the UN General Assembly, Your Excellency Saba Korosi, Secretary General of the United Nations. Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, I am grateful for the immense privilege to join Your Excellencies in this distinguished assembly, a privilege made possible by peaceful, democratic transition following free and fair elections in Kenya on the 9th of August, 2022. Elections that not only stand as testimony of the universal power of democracy, but also of the manifest ability of African peoples to invest in stronger nations and a secure future, robust institutions, effective constitutions, and the impartial administration of the rule of law guarantees the achievement of shared aspirations. This 77th session of the UN General Assembly comes at a unique moment when the entire world is struggling with multiple grave challenges that include regional conflicts, the COVID-19 pandemic, the triple planetary crisis, food insecurity, and the rising cost of living. I take this opportunity to congratulate you, Mr. President, on your election to preside over this session and to express my confidence that your wealth of experience offers us significant assurance of your good leadership. Your motto, Solutions Through Solidarity, Sustainability, and Science, succinctly captures with particular resonance the urgent imperatives of our time. I assure you of Kenya's firm support and cooperation during your tenure. I further take this opportunity to commend your predecessor, His Excellency Abdullah Shahid, for his bold steps in steering the United Nations community and for ensuring its business continuity under the unprecedented circumstances occasioned by multiple global threats such as the COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> Excellencies, human well-being is under grave threat. The health of the planet requires urgent attention. The immense pressure exerted by conventional threats such as climate change, the global food crisis, terrorism, cybercrime, and armed conflict has been compounded by unprecedented devastating disruptions due to COVID-19. I express my approval of the theme for this session, a watershed moment transformative solutions to interlocking challenges. Because of its boldly signif uh, signals, because it boldly signals the window of opportunity we now have to escalate our engagement from firm consensus to decisive action. In many respects, the COVID-19 pandemic stripped us of many illusions and exposed stark justice and solidarity deficits in the face of existential crisis. It brought into sharp focus the global economy's two-lane highway, repressively patrolled by a rising tide of exclusionist nationalism, a specter that undermines prospects of collective action and significantly impairs the resolve of the international community to guarantee fundamental rights, including safety and dignity of the world's vulnerable majority. It is also for this reason that many nations, especially from the global south, now advocate for the democratization of the global governance and a reimagined multilateralism that is inclusive and works for the good of all. Kenya stands ready to work with other nations to achieve 
the, pan the pan Africanization of multilateralism and a more just and inclusive system of global governance. It is important to reflect on these matters as we do our best to get our people, enterprises, and industries back on their feet so that the engine of development can power our societies towards prosperity that actually leaves no one behind. Building back better is the universal rallying call to incorporate lessons learned into doing more in a better way to, cover, to recover from the shock. I suggest that we have a golden opportunity to faithfully adhere to this motto by augmenting it inward and indeed with an additional B, building back better from the bottom. Building back better from the bottom upwards is essentially about including the marginalized working majority in the economic mainstream. The bottom millions relentlessly wage their daily battle for survival in a crowded arena characterized by scarcity of opportunity and generally precarious existence. The ingenuity, optimism, resilience, and energy in this ever bustling bottom is sometimes called hustling. Invisibly to policymakers and beyond the reach of many public services, these hustlers take nothing for granted, surviving overwhelming odds and frequently succeeding greatly. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, things may come to those who wait, but only things left behind by those who hustle. It is time to bolster the resilience of our nations, to mainstream these millions through deliberate strategies and efforts for economic inclusion by building back better from the bottom up. The interlocking challenges of conflicts, triple planetary crisis, and the global food crisis have impeded our momentum and obstructed our focus on achieving fundamental transformations towards sustainable development. In the Horn of Africa region, severe drought and disruption of supply chains due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the Russia-Ukraine conflict, have left us food insecure, and consequently, we have been constrained to repurpose our strategies to prioritize drought and famine relief, insulating education and disruption from disruption and improving social protection and healthcare systems to secure the well-being of our people. Many countries now bear witness to the unsettling phenomena of rivers, canals, and water reservoirs that are drying up on account of drought and heat waves occasioned by climate change. Kenya is no exception. The northern arid and semi-arid rangelands of our country have been gravely impacted by drought, whose severity has not been seen or experienced in 40 years. 3.1 million residents of these assaults are now severely food insecure on account of scarce rainfall over three consecutive seasons, 